안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today, I'm going to talk about something really exciting because I went to see BTS again. And I want to talk about my experience sitting the furthest, the most furthest seat and standing the closest j a Girl! I live in Toronto, so the closest concert was in Hamilton. It's about an hour and a half drive, give and take some, depending on traffic. They had three shows in Hamilton. So I went to two of those, the Thursday and the Sunday. Thursday show was my seated seat. I was actually surprised to have gone to the venue at like right at eight, which is when the concert was supposed to start. We were running a little late because we had Korean barbecue right before then and it was all you can eat. So it wasn't like you order something, it comes out and you eat it. Like we kept ordering maybe how many rounds? Four separate yeah. rounds of all you can eat Korean barbecue. Say hi. It was Michael Galhad, myself and a viewer who won the giveaway ticket. We actually had a little bit of a winner switch. The original winner of the giveaway ticket, Jennifer, wasn't able to accept the ticket last minute because after arranging her hotel and her flight and everything because she actually needed to use her savings for school. So we chose another giveaway winner, but this giveaway winner, Jennifer, <laughs> Isn't that funny? Jennifer and Jennifer came with us. I was so happy. She was so happy. I was like, oh man, like I'm so thankful that I could bless her this way and give back to you um, in the form of like taking you to b t s We got there right at 8. They were supposed to start right at 8. We went through some metal detector thing and then we went to our seats. But because we were the furthest away, we did have to climb some stairs. I was surprised though because like I think we were row 18 or something. in our section and I looked at the ticket and I just kept walking, walking up these stairs until we got to the very, very top of the section. Behind us was the brick wall. Like we were at the back. Initially, I wanted us to at least sit at the front of the section so we could see well or see a little bit closer. But I was actually really glad that we were at the very back because I could see the whole stadium. I could see the end of the left side. and vice versa and because it was furthest back i felt like i could still like do things that i needed to like check something in my bag go to the washroom like it was easy to disengage myself from what's happening on the screen and transitions and stuff because i was at the furthest back and i felt like i had a lot of peace throughout the concert my ears were definitely not hurting because behind us was actually the brick wall so there was no screaming happening from behind us and my heart felt really full because i could see the ocean of army and all the army bombs, yo, I was like, girl, oh my god. It was so pretty and the version 3 army bomb, it sinks to the stage. The colors change and the, the speed changes of the light depending on where you are. And so you could see like waves of color, you could see different patterns. It was so pretty. Their bodies were quite small, but you could see them from the screen. And something that amazed me was that It does take time for that sound at the bottom of the, the venue to reach the back of the hall. It takes about like zero point something seconds time for the sound to travel. But what you see on the screen is at exact same timing as the music that you're hearing delayed. So on the stage, I could see them dancing and it's a tad bit faster than what I'm hearing. But on the screen, it's exactly matched with what I'm hearing. So um, I didn't mind looking at the screen the whole time or like most of the time, like an inch tall in my view, maybe a little bit bigger. But on the screen, they were they were like the whole height of the stadium. Let me talk about the GA standing, the pit, the closest like I've ever been to Pangtan. They were literally two meters away from me. Two meters! They were two meters away from me. I waited in line for no. 25 hours We still haven't before found the, the show the started. It was crazy, but it was so worth it. I feel like right it was so fun. It was such a great experience. I'm going to make a separate video talking about some details that I want to share story time on. For this video, I'll talk mostly just about the seating. You do have to wait long. You can't just come at eight. I mean, you can, but you'll be like at the outskirts of the pit, which is not bad either. I feel like from outside the pit, you could see them pretty well. They'll probably be like the size of your palm if you extend your hands at the far end of the pit, which is literally like my doorway right now. If you come right before the show, I think it'll be okay. You just won't be at the first few rows. My number was like 341. 
out of all the GA standing in line, but I was able to get second row at the walkway. And girl, girl, so much, so much fan interaction. I was like gonzos. Actually, I wasn't gonzos. I wasn't dead. I wasn't slayed. I was living. I was like, I was like, I, I was living. I was just so hype. I was like, I was living that like period. I was living. The doors open at four. So we did have to start lining up around 3.30 again, back in order of our wristbands, which we got in the morning. Once the doors open, you get in and there's like another one of those metal detectors and they check your bag. You're not allowed to bring anything inside that's bigger than like, like kind of a large fanny pack. Erica, who went to the concert with me, had like a bag that's a little bit bigger than that required size and so she had to check her bag in but i was before her in in the metal detection line so uh, like after i got metal detector i like literally like speed raced to the right side of the section i do want to say thank you so much to joanne and joanne's mom for giving me tips on where i should stand for the j standing pit joanne is a viewer who i met at the k-pop convention in toronto and she came to find me while i was in line for ga standing and she came to just brief me down like we we're tweeting each other about like um seats and stuff because she also had ga standing the day before and she was telling me like okay you have to go like here 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 she's like you know what like i can't tweet this so let me come find you so then she came find me like running us down like what she saw where to stand and how to get there um, usually the left side of the stage, like you facing the stage, the left side will be more crowded. I found that there was about mm, 1.2 or 3 or 5 even more people on this side than on the right side. I think because once you come into the stage, that's the side where the door is. So people don't really think much to go all the way around the stage to the other side but it's quite emptier. So she told us to go to the walkway because that's like the closest and most people go to the extended stage. So the extended stage is a little bit um, crowded and you can't get as close to the barricades. But I was second row of the barricades at the walkway. There's a little bit of a platform, like a metal platform that holds down the barricades as well. So I was standing on an inch tall platform, plus I was standing on my own platforms which were my shoes my platform shoes which are like three inches i was literally like so tall and i felt bad for the people behind me but like girl four inches closer to punk Tan, like i'll do it throughout the show um i made eye contact with every single member and especially jungkook he kept coming back to our section Jungkook and then uh, J-Hope and then V and then Suga and then Jin and then Ratmon and then Jimin. That's the order of how much fan interaction we got in our section. They also came up from the side of the stage, like they came out from underneath the stage and went up the stairs that we were right in front of. I actually missed seeing their faces, but I saw their shoulders and their back literally a meter away from me. That's like a yard, like a yard away from me. But Erica, who I was at the concert with, um, she actually bought her ticket from me because my other Tongzheng, she couldn't come. So I had to sell that ticket. Erica got some shots of them like coming to the side, like right in front of us. And originally I wanted like, if they come to the side, I wanted to like reach out my hand or like, high touch or something like I re literally if I reach out my hand my hand is not like one meter long but like I could be pretty close like if they just go like this they could touch my hand like I wish I did that but I didn't I was like so focused on what's happening at that moment that I didn't think ahead to oh when will they come out the side and when will they be a meter away from me on the same floor like they were literally walking on the side and then went up the stairs to onto the stage and there were four separate occasions that we got splashed by holy water, <laughs> by their drinking water. At first, V 
sprayed us during run, I think it was. A few seconds later, Suga also sprayed us with this water bottle. But when V sprayed us, he was like right in front of us and Suga was a little bit closer to the stairs. Closer to the end of the show, V came back to splash us again. At the same time he was splashing us, J-Hope also splashed us. So we were like double splashed like at the same time. It was so hyped because like it was during like a beat drop as well and I got both my tickets for resale, so I couldn't get Ticketmaster tickets, which you may have seen that video where I'm like trying really hard to get Ticketmaster tickets, but I'm also very stressed. And Michael was on a trip in Ohio as well, so I was like trying to juggle the kids and trying to juggle buying these tickets, and I couldn't get any Ticketmaster tickets. So I did use a third party resale site like Vivid Seats, DubHub, um, Tick, 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 those types of third party site both my tickets were double the price of the retail so it was $80 Canadian or $85 Canadian for the for this section and I paid about 160 or 70 for those tickets we bought four tickets for all of us including yen and for the GA standing I believe it was 325 so I did pay something like around $600 for that ticket and there was absolutely no possibility for soundcheck as well because once you buy a resale ticket not from Ticketmaster or any ticket not from Ticketmaster then you actually can't get any sound check because you have to bring identification of the name that the ticket was bought under. I think both are good. I think even if you get like a seated seat at the front, even that's like a really good experience. I feel like every section that you're in, you'll have a good time and you'll meet people around you who also have that commonality, right? I feel like the GA standing waiting line can get a little bit scary because people start um, accusing people of cutting and people start getting very aggressive because we're all anxious we're all like really antsy we're on the edge of our toes looking forward to seeing punk Town really soon or like any show you go to any artist you go to see if it's your first concert i definitely would recommend going with someone who's already gone but also getting a seated ticket because you don't really have to worry about all of these extra things that would pertain to a ga standing or a pit ticket for the most part i really enjoyed my time in both ticketing if I were to choose which one I would go to if I could only go to one for next year when they come back to Toronto I think I would probably take the GA standing just because we were so close to them Chongguk made eye contact with me four times four times like even I felt like even though I could see the whole audience in the center and all of their army bombs flashing when I was furthest back when I was closest it was like I got shivers when they were playing the last songs and the encore when they were singing answer like I turned around everyone was holding oh, everyone was holding these banners that were I think it was a fan project and it said like we'll keep walking together thank you for becoming us almost all the army were holding this banner and I could see like the whole audience again so like, I could see all the audience from the top and then when I was at the pit, I could see all the audience from like Pang Tan's view. And it was so shocking to me to actually be able to see faces. Like wherever you're sitting in the crowd, they could actually see your faces. Because usually if you're on stage and the lights are bright, you can't really see people in the audience and their faces. But the way that they made the lighting crew work the lights was so that they could see our faces. And like, that's just so crazy like that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Like, when they're in such an influential position and when they're in such a uh, like high status or people would say like they're celebrities right well they are celebrities people would say like they're like unreachable and untouchable like the fact that they come down from that level of people's like societal status and whatever the fact that they come down and they want to see our faces like like that is humility. I feel like it touches me more and it moves me more because like it, I can relate that to my faith and it reminds me of like God's love for us as people. Like BTS has that kind of love for ARMY that like is so sacrificial and also like so humble. And I think that's why I've been ARMY for so long. Like I've waited three years for them to come back to Toronto. Um, I saw them in 2015, that concert versus this concert. <laughs> You're laughing too if you know which concert I'm talking about.
Did you go or are you going to go to any of the dates of Love Yourself tour? If so, where is it and which day are you going? Which seat do you have? I'd like to hear your experience or like what you're looking forward to. I'm going to film the separate story time videos of my experience waiting and camping overnight for GA Standing. So definitely make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you're notified right when a new video drops. I do try to upload some punk down related stuff because I'm kind of like a really intense army. Um, I also post daily stories on Instagram and some posts here and there so definitely make sure to check out these platforms if these are platforms that you use. That's it, I'll see you 